Hello. I'm George and I'm 60. Last year I was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation or AF. This means I need to take an anticoagulant medicine to reduce my risk of having a stroke due to AF. Some of my friends take warfarin. I was anxious as their lives seem to have been affected by taking warfarin. They always need blood tests and they can't enjoy their food and drink like they used to. I was still relatively young and I was concerned about how treatment would affect my relationship with my wife and children and take over my life. Together, my doctor and I decided to start a different tablet called a Direct Oral Anticoagulant, or DOAC. The DOAC I've been prescribed is called Apixaban. It comes as a tablet which I have to take twice a day with a glass of water. It's really important that I take it every day and at the same time. If I don't, then this can increase my risk of having a stroke, as I won't be fully protected. Initially, I kept forgetting to take it. I have a busy job and an active family life. Then one day, my wife suggested that I leave my tablets next to my toothbrush. Now, I never miss a dose, as I take a tablet every time I clean my teeth in the morning and at night. I also put reminder alarms on my mobile phone, just in case. After speaking with friends, I was most worried about the side effects of the tablets, such as bleeding, not being able to play sports and having to avoid alcohol. It's true, I do have to be more careful because of the increased risk of bleeding. I bleed for longer if I cut myself shaving or cooking. And I've noticed bigger bruises when I knock myself. I have to apply pressure to a cut for longer, but this normally stops the bleeding. I'm still allowed to play football, but sadly I've had to stop playing rugby. Contact sports can be dangerous because of the risk of internal bleeding into my brain and tummy if I was to get badly injured. I always carry an anticoagulation card in my wallet in case of an emergency. Taking a DOAC is less stressful than I originally thought. Unlike my friends on warfarin who need frequent blood tests, I only have to have a yearly blood test. The doctors need to check my blood count along with my kidney function. Unlike warfarin, my diet hasn't been affected. I don't have to watch what I eat, and I can still drink some alcohol, in moderation, of course. My GP has been great at providing me with support throughout my diagnosis and management of AF. I found these websites really useful for providing more information and answering questions about my condition and treatment options.